Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela Garcia and I'm a fashion and business photographer from Colombia based in Tel Aviv. So recently I was approached by Evoto AI that is an AI based photo editor and I was very curious how this is gonna make my life much more easier. They told me, can you make a review? I checked the product and I said, definitely, I need to make a review because this is gonna save you so much time that you cannot even believe. But before we start checking this amazing technology, guys, go to the link down below and get your free trial, guys. It's really worth it. Check it, it's for free, and I promise you're gonna regret it. So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's get started. I want to add over here and create a new project. So I have all these pictures ready. I'm gonna drag them over here. And then we have here our project. Okay guys, so once we are here, we see all the color looks that we can get. They are a little bit different than presets because they will adjust themselves to your pictures. So let's start it with the AI color adjustments. The AI color looks are these the ones that we have uh, with the program and these are a little bit different because the AI will analyze your picture and make little adjustments so they will come to look much more nicer and each one of them looks just good for example this is something that I would like to use this one I really like you see before and after this one is definitely cool wow this one is really like my styles so for example when you already chose your colors for example let's choose one of these okay i really like these colors so we have here in this side everything to keep editing your pictures and making them as perfect as you want okay so over here we have these curves and i always like to use them so for example i will take this a little bit down this a little bit up this a little bit down and i will get something like this you can also play with all your RGB curves. Over here you have all your color settings, your hue, saturation and luminance. Over here your color grading, that is also something very useful. Over here details. Okay guys, so grain as you know is part of my signature in my work, so I will definitely add some grain. Over here we have also lens corrections that you can choose your camera. Over here, I use this lens, and this is the lens correction that it will make. Here, I think it's enough, so I want to move to the next picture. For that, I want to use a different picture. Let's use this one that we haven't touched. We are going to move to the face, and we are gonna start with blemish removal. Let's put 100%. Wow, guys, look at this. Less than one second it took me to edit my picture like this, so I will leave it on 65. Let's see the freckles. I'm gonna leave it also a little bit down and acne, amazing, right? So over here we move to face mole and we click over here. Let's check body blemish, how it help us. I want it very gentle. Remove face shine. This is a new feature and I think it's really useful. I'm gonna leave it a little bit 63. See before and after. Face forehead wrinkle, let's see. Okay, you see a little bit softer. Let's see eye wrinkle. Okay, this changes a little bit, so I'm gonna leave it up. So over here we have dark circle, over here, before and after. Amazing! I'm so excited about this. Smile line and neck wrinkle, amazing. Double chin, this girl does not have a double chin, but let's see, it makes something. You see, it makes sharper the neck. The stomach marks, we don't have any. So what do you think, guys? This is the kind of retouching that will usually take hours for us. And now we're going like two minutes of our time doing this. This is revolutionary, guys. I think this is gonna change my career in a way that, that I didn't expect it because I'm lately getting a lot of work, but I also have a lot of projects that I need to get done. I need to get retouched. I'm gonna have more time to accept more clients, so it makes me happy. So let's do the skin retouching with this picture. This girl has a like not a very smooth skin, so we can apply it onto her. We're gonna see a little bit of changes. So let's do the smooth face skin. Over here, immediately we see a big change. Okay, let's apply the body skin smoothing. 
and you can see it made everything over here very very soft over here we have a skin tone I think this is her skin tone, something like this. And you can affect the temperature of the body skin. Let's see a skin radiance that is also new. Okay, it really makes radiance, so you can use not a lot. Okay, guys, for the next feature, I want to try a different picture. Uh, we can try this one. Okay, over here we have facial reshape. So here is to make your face a little bit bigger. Over here, you can also move these kind of parts. Cheekbones, you can make them bigger or smaller. And the jaw. You can also shrink the face. Taper the face. Here, face wide. I will take it a little bit down. Over here, I will leave it as she is. Okay, probably maybe one. Middle section. You see there are very very little changes but little changes makes it all let's see facial expressions what do we have over here we can make a gentle smile maybe a little bit here over here we don't have uh, teeth but we're gonna try it in a different picture we can brighten the eyes and we can remove veins this is something really really cool look at this I really like this one, I think I will leave it. You can also change a little bit the amount. Okay guys, but for the next feature, I uploaded here this picture that is supposed to be a little bit challenging. So let's try it over here, let's see what this does. I think for this picture it's not affecting. This is making the top a little bit bigger. Hairline, we don't see it over here. But I really wanted to try this guys, remove stray hair. I really like it because it really understood that I want a little of a little bit of messy hairs and it didn't remove everything. So I was scared it's gonna be removing everything, for example these hairs over here or this one. But it really took the little ones. This is amazing. Let's try this feature for another picture. Okay, look at this. Pretty amazing. Okay, so for background adjustments, guys, we have first clean solid backdrop that is really necessary for this. Insane. I'm so happy. <laughs> so cool. Let's see background enhancing. Okay, we have another feature over here that is color blending removal. This feature automatically detects and removes color bending from solid backgrounds. It does not work with non-solid backgrounds. Okay, cool. Let's see if it does something over here. Yeah, you see? Over here we have this little line and it's fixing it a little bit. It's blending the colors, cool. And this is what I really wanted to try. The headshot backdrop changer. Let's try these colors. Let's see white. White looks great. Gray. Black. This is such a great feature. Another kind of gray. And over here, guys, you have a lot, a lot of options that you can use for your backdrop. Let's check the other ones. A sky replacement. Okay, we have pictures here with the sky. Okay, this one is perfect for this. Let's see what are the recommended. Okay, guys, so you see this? This is really, really cool. You can try a lot of backdrops. This one looks really realistic. Like, I wouldn't change anything. Just over here, we have this little pass that I will try to fix it. But besides that, it looks really, really cool. Now guys, for the next setting, we have clothes and accessory touch-ups. That this is something that I think for every photographer that does commercial work, it's very important. Let's try another picture. Let's see, maybe this one. The wrinkled clothing. You don't know how much time I spent on Photoshop trying to edit these little things. 
this is amazing. And let's try this one. You see over here all the wrinkles are really softened. And over here, the last one, we have the crop tool. You can just adjust your picture. I will do it something like this. Perfect. This is something really cool that I like. For example, I want to put it like this. Really cool, right? To finish, we have something that is really useful because you don't want to apply the settings for one picture to 100 pictures, right? So you can always sync your pictures. We have over here this picture. I can select another one over here and sync. You see, and you can select how much you want to copy and you save it. Now it has seen the pictures and I really, really like this preset. You see the retouching of the blemishes, it's amazing. It just feels so natural. Okay guys, so because I really like this picture, this was my favorite, I'm gonna save this preset. Let's name it Evoto Test 1. Let's create a new group, Angela. Okay guys, so now that I saved this preset, you can just go click and use it for any other picture every time that you open the program. Okay guys, so to do that, you just go, for example, let's select this picture. We go over here, select my presets. And here it is. Okay guys, so this picture that I'm smiling, it's perfect for the example of the teeth. Over here, this is it. Heat whitening, take a look. And let's see, pretty teeth. This looks like a commercial. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Okay, guys, now that we saw all this amazing technology of AI, eh, I want to tell you some value points of a photo that I found really, really cool. First of all, is that you have free access to all the features. You don't need to pay a subscription like with all the other programs that exist. And it's always free to update the program. Also, you only pay for exports. It means you export one picture, you pay for one picture. And it also means that if you edit one picture multiple times, it will only charge you one time. And also guys, the more credits you buy, the cheaper it gets. So that's it for today, guys. I really hope that this review was useful for you as it is for me. It's really open-minding and it's changing lives. So if you like it, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.